Hi, so today is going to be another day and another dish. If you ask me for, from Southeast Asia, my four favorite uh, food items, and I've traveled extensively in this part of the world, would be uh, Thai Pad Thai, uh, Nasi Lemak from Malaysia, uh, Chicken Rengdang, Malaysia, not to mention um, Nasi Goreng with Hot Sambal from Indonesia. Today I'm going to make uh, chicken rendang. Now, there's no twist in this, but there's a small tale. If you ask me, the best chicken rendang I have ever had, and the best chicken rendang ever cooked, is by a dear friend of mine, Siong Ong from Malaysia, who lives here in Hong Kong, and has been a friend for almost 10 years now. And this dish is to you, uh, Siong. I don't think I can make it as good as you, but uh, I'll try. So let's look at the ingredients. <clears throat> so I've got, uh, you know, kind of red chili. Uh, you know, I don't know what to call them. These are not uh, jalapeno. These are not capsicum. But this is something you get. These are long red chili. Uh, what you do is you deceive them uh, because then the hotness goes away. And these are generally not hot, really, right? So I've got about six, seven of these. I will chop them. Uh, and I'll show that process later. So this is uh, the chili. Uh, I've got about uh, 350 grams of chicken uh, breast cut into bite size. And I'll show you what I'll do with it. Um, here I've got uh, dry red chili soaked in hot water. Uh, two of those. They're very long chilies. So I've made them into half. And I have here, I've got about eight uh, shallots, shallots, uh, two whole garlic. If you don't have like this whole garlic, you can get, buy the normal cloves, so about 20 pieces of the cloves. One red chili. You can put two, you can put three, but I put one. I don't want to make it too hot because I put the dry chilies as well. About 10 or 15 uh, lime leaf where I have removed the, the main vein uh, and a kind of a thumb size of, thumbnail size of uh, ginger so that's ingredient and of course not to mention a whole stick of lemongrass and i have got here some dry uh, spices uh, you got uh, about eight ten pieces of clove about eight ten pieces of cardamom and three sticks of uh, cinnamon uh, i'm going to um, dry grind them and marinate with the chicken which i'll show you so that's the ingredient uh, the cooking time is again as stands for bodo's kitchen 20 minutes so that's the ingredient. Let me come back and show you uh, the steps as we go forward in the cooking process. Thank you. All right, what I'm gonna do, uh, which is probably possibly a twist a little bit, if you will, I, I would like to marinate the chicken, right? So I marinated the chicken in those spices that I showed you, the dry uh, spices, I ground them, right? And uh, I'm gonna marinate it. It's generally in a typical rangdang, people would put it on the hot oil, but I would like to do this and then fry it a little bit, uh, you know, before I put the rangdang uh, sauce. So. Let me just quickly use my marinating bowl. Uh, <coughs> spread the chicken. And again, I like to make it in coconut oil. So uh, this is a typical Japanese coconut oil, but you can use any old coconut oil uh, in the market. So coconut oil adds to the flavor. That's about it, about two tablespoons of coconut oil. Let the coconut oil mix well with the chicken. And uh, you marinate this for about half an hour, 45 minutes before you cook, or from your cooking time. So I'm just gonna lay out the all of the dry spices which I ground. Generally, you would put this on the oil, but I don't do that. I do it this way so it kind of absorbs and the chicken is, so not too much. So that's about it. So now I'm gonna just skip it in you know, since it's about 45 minutes to cooking time, uh, I can leave it outside or keep it in the fridge, doesn't matter. So that's uh, the chicken marinated in preparation for the chicken ring down. All right, uh, so now I'm gonna do the cooking process. I've got the chilies chopped into kind of small pieces. I like to, uh, I, I like to roast it a little bit before uh, making it into a sauce, although that's not the standard process. Uh, but I realize that if you roast it a little bit, it gives a little bit of, it has a better flavor. And also sometimes 
if you just mash it and cook it or paste it, which, I, which I'll show you, it really does not uh, come out. Uh, it gives me a little bit of a bitterish taste. So I found that this is a better way to uh, do this before I make the sauce. Now, in the meantime, what I've also done you know, is I have uh, kind of uh, dry roasted the chili, the garlic, the uh, onion, the, the shallots, um, and the ginger. So it's kind of, it's no oil, it's just dry uh, roasted. So we'll come back and, sh and show you how to make the paste. So this will this will take a few minutes to roast. I'll make it out by the smell that will ooze. Uh, sorry, it'll ooze a little bit of water and also it'll have a kind of a fragrance when I know that it's done. Uh, three to two minutes, that's about it really. All right, hi, so I've, uh, done the second step of the process which is I've dry roasted these I let it cool down dry roasted the onion garlic uh, ginger chili and now I'm going to make the sauce right so for that I've got my blender I'm going to put all of this into the blender right. I'm going to put this all of it in the blender the chili the, the, the dry roasted onion, garlic, ginger, and chili. It's all dry roasted, right? And then goes in. I've got a bit of uh, raw uh, turmeric. I'm gonna put that in. And of course, I didn't roast these because this, uh, this shouldn't be roasted. So the the lime leaf and the uh, Lemon grass, which I now have chopped into small pieces, that goes in. And I'm going to put some water. <clears throat> and a little bit more turmeric, a bit of turmeric powder. Kind of three fourths of a tea teaspoon goes in there. <clears throat> and then I'm going to make the sauce now, just stir it up a little bit. Blender. Uh. Right. There's one ingredient now I will put because it's been is this the soaked chili with the water. I will not throw the water because that will add to the color. So with the chili, I'm going to do last grinding. The chili melt, uh, mashes in, the water gives it a little bit more darkish color as well as a flavor of the dry chili. So as you can see, it's become a little bit more darker than it was before. And this is now done. The sauce is done. The next step is the cooking. All right, now is the final step, which is the cooking. So I've marinated the chicken. I have roast, dry roasted the, 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 the sauce ingredients. Now I've made the sauce which is here and I'm going to do the cooking. So I'm going to, I've got my thick bottom pan or a pot and I'm going to light up the fire. And again, I'm going to cook, use uh, coconut oil uh, for, the, for the cooking. So I'm going to put a nice two to three tablespoon of coconut oil. I'll let the coconut oil to kind of heat up a little bit. I will stir the oil so that it's evenly heated up but once let it heat up a little bit okay the oil is heated up so I'm going to bring my chicken that I had marinated with the with the spices uh, and I'm going to just put it in the pan I'm just going to fry it enough and at this stage I'll put some salt uh, but again remember the final salt is once the sauce is put yeah you have to put salt again then but a little bit of salt i'll just fry it enough for the chicken to kind of absorb and get a little bit of whitish and absorb the spices that's it right it doesn't have to be fried for too long so so that the spot the, the spices which i've marinated the chicken with is uh, kind of fries out and blends with the chicken it's a very simple and easy dish to make uh, but I'm sure uh, 
Mr. Siong Ong's would be a more laborious and more artistic way of making this particular chicken. So I'll fry it a while, a little bit more before I add the sauce. All right, now the chicken is kind of, you know, it's <coughs> fried enough for me now to add the salt. If you fry too much, then it'll become very fibrous. So I take my sauce, which I made, and just put the whole sauce into this egg, right? And uh, on high flame, stir it. I'm gonna bring it to a boil before I'll simmer it. Uh, so I'm just making sure the, chick the, the chicken and the, the rang down sauce or gravy, whichever you call it. At this point, I will add a little bit more salt and I'll do my first salt test to make sure it's it's good enough. Let me just take a spoon. Nope. It's not enough. So I'm gonna put a little bit more. Stir it a little bit more. And remember, it has to come to a boil before I simmer it. One more salt test. Salt is perfect. For now, I'll do the final salt test when it comes to a boil. So I'm just going to put it here for it to come to a boil. Yeah. All right, now this I have cooked, you know, at the, I was not taking it online, but this is now boiled for about 15 minutes. As you can see, the water has dried up a little bit. That is the whole idea. Now there are various types that I have had rang down. It could be very thick or a gravy-ish. I like the gravy-ish, so this is what I have done here. So this is almost ready now with the last step, which is here what I'm gonna do. I've got some uh, coconut milk. Uh, this is basically I've kept it in a jar, but if you get it in a standard can, you can get low fat, normal. So this is kind of a low fat coconut cream um, or coconut milk, as you as somebody would call it. So I'm going to put this onto this now. One, two, three, and this is gives that coconutish flavor. Four, and then I will stir it to see how the gravy looks. So that kind of gives it the coconut flavor in there. I think I will be a little bit more generous with the coconut so that it gets, it becomes a little bit of a thick gravy. So I put about seven spoons, right? So it's up to you. You can see how much you want to put uh, depending on the flavor. So it, yes, it's turning into a nice whitish cream. And it's kind of thickened as well. So this is all done. All I'm gonna do now is cover it up and I'm gonna time it for seven minutes because it has been cooking for quite some time, right? To dry that water out. So seven minutes of simmer and the dish is done. So that's chicken rendang for you, Siong, and all my friends. Try and make it at home. Very easy dish to cook, yummy, and you will enjoy it. Good day.